Artificial intelligence, the next big thing. But why do we need AI? Here is Alan lying in his grave. Let's go back into time and see what happened. Alan met with a major accident because of driving back home drunk, along with 10,265 other people the same year. Every year this number is increasing. Can we have cars that can drive on its own, that can save people like Alan? Jack is blind. He wishes for a device that could help him to see the world. Meet Olivia. She is visiting Berlin. She cannot understand German signboards. She wishes for a software that can convert those German words in English. Looking at all the scenarios, what do we understand? We need an intelligent machine, which has the power to think, analyze and make decisions. This is nothing but artificial intelligence. The basic idea is to mimic a human brain inside a machine. For example, if we want a car to drive on its own, we need to train that car based on driver's experience. With AI, people like Alan can sit comfortably in a self-driving car and reach home safely. You will be amazed to know the advancements that have been made in this field. AI has also helped people like Jack. OrCam's MyEye is a small wearable device that has the ability to read printed text from any surface. The device also recognizes faces of individuals as well as identifies products and denominations of currency notes. For Olivia, we have AI-enabled mobile apps that can extract the text from an image and convert it into a different language. Artificial intelligence is not only saving our lives or making it comfortable, but it is also contributing in the field of art. Meet Aaron, the famous painter, which is a computer program. Aaron is able to create very unique and exquisite paintings. AI softwares are even composing music. AI has given us Wordsmith, which can create a unique story for you. It writes articles in newspapers and on internet. We even have Sherlock, an intelligent tutoring system teaching Air Force technicians how to diagnose electrical problems in aircrafts. So clearly after internet which has connected the entire world and microchips without which more than humans cannot survive, AI is the next big thing that is revolutionizing the world. The question is, what are the technologies that are driving these advancements in the field of AI? First came machine learning for achieving AI. And now people are talking about deep learning, which is a subfield of machine learning. Deep learning works in the same way how a human brain works. It is inspired from neurons which are nothing but brain cells. Deep learning uses multiple artificial neurons. These neurons are arranged in the form of layers. Output of every layer is the input to the next layer. Earlier, due to less data and lack of computational power, deep learning was not possible. But now, we have GPUs and huge amount of data because of which deep learning models give very high accuracy. For deep learning, the most famous programming language is Python, and TensorFlow is a Python package for implementing deep learning models. So come and master the concepts of AI and deep learning with Edureka structured program, which includes neural networks, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks, RBM, and autoencoders using TensorFlow. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on board with Edureka soon.